I have to take a snack. Cause Jesus knows. Hi guys. Hold on. Girl is home. Hi guys, welcome to another video. We are going in the kitchen today because we are gonna be making homemade sorrow. One of my favorite Christmas drinks, like you wouldn't even believe. I if I could drink sorrow all day, I think I would. Like no cap. But I am going to be making sorrel for the first time. If you want to know how to make sorrel and do not just buy it from True Juice or Country Style, then stay tuned. I never knew that sorrel takes so long. Like I was reading the recipe that my mom used for years and it's long. Like some overnight or two days stuff. Like, it's long. <laughs> but I have accepted the challenge and I am ready to make my favorite drink and your favorite drink. And if it's not your favorite drink, it should be. So before we get started, you know what I'm gonna ask? Subscribe down below if you're new. If you're not new and you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm gonna wait so you can do that right now. I am patient. You did it. Thank you. So welcome to the family. We are growing and glowing. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the recipe. This is how much for one batch of sorrel. So we used two pounds. This one bag is one pound, which equates to 11 cups. And we're gonna put 15 cups of water per pound, which is per 11 cups of sorrel, and then bring the water to a boil. This dough took forever to even light, much less boil the water. So that is one patch of sorrel water and then we're gonna put in the second batch so two pounds equates to 30 cups of water if you want to make that much sorrel but if you're doing the one batch then stick to the recipe in the description box below so we're gonna close it and it's gonna get ready to boil while that's boiling we're gonna wash off the ginger the cloves and pimento and get those prepared You want to have everything in one place and now I'm going to just clean up the ginger by taking off the outer layer and after that we are going to grate it because you can grate the ginger or you can pummel it. I don't know if you guys have any pummeling instrument but grating works for me and it was the easiest thing to do. So after you do that, you want to put it straight into the pot so it boils with the water and then you prepare the pimento and the cloves i just did a guess estimate for the amount of sorrel we're gonna make and you really don't need a lot this is all used for that amount of water which was 30 cups also do you want to wash the sorrel wash it off make sure they're clean because if you get it right out of the market you need to wash it even if it's dried you still need to wash it these are how the buds look when they are picked and grown fresh and those are what we're going to use in making our homemade sorrel as i said this is two pounds you know you can just judge it since we've been making it for years we can't really mess up the sorrel and the batch but i would recommend to stick to the recipe and then just calculate if you want to add more or less so now you can see that the boiling water is ready and the ginger has boiled we're gonna want to put in the soil now so you just add it in i suggest don't add it all in at once do it periodically and then when it reaches halfway you can add everything else in you see where the water is turning red already this is what makes me really excited because you know that it's going to really ferment and taste good at the end so what you want to do now is just mix it so that everything combines a little bit like the ginger combines with the sorrel and then you turn off the fire and let it cool down and leave it for a couple of days so it can do its thing sorrel takes two days to ferment and get nice nice so let me show you what's happening right let me show you 
look at this <laughs> look how rich and nice it looks i cannot get over this sorrel oh my god so as you can see the buds are still on the bottom you're gonna want to strain all of it out to leave the ruminants in the strainer i'm also gonna make a youtube video to show you guys what you can use the sorrel buds for after you make the sorrel let me go and get my cup of sorrel because i strained off one cup off the top to show you guys what it looks like hold on give me one second look at this look how rich it looks like it's a blood red right about now and i am in love because okay oh not not so much in love because this thing tastes like Ugh. it's not i mean it could be it could be consumed without sugar and without rum and all that good stuff but you know jamaicans already they have to add them rum in it and them have a sweet top a little bit so it is great but if you're vegan and if you're against sugar and you're trying to lose weight and all that great stuff for 2021 i'd advise you just you know straight off the style off the bottom and then put some in a glass and you're good to go okay that is it for me and my diet be right back. so guys i am back you know i have to add some white rum to this style oh yes friend yes <laughs> yes friend i feel like i should not drink it straight off because it needs to be stirred we are also going to add a little brown sugar to this goodness it takes a lot of sugar guys by the way so what you're gonna do is when you take the sorrel buds out of the pot because we normally make a pot at a time once you strain that off you're gonna want to add sugar and you'll be mixing until god comes and lives with his people because you know the sugar has to dissolve and normally what i do is that i um just taste it periodically the <coughs> rum strong man until the sugar dissolves I'm not sure if you can see it but it is not fully dissolved yet but it's near and also you want to have the sun at room temperature that way you can have the sugar dissolve faster because it's going to be quite a bit of sugar in there unless you want to just strain it off and then add sugar whenever you please but that's kind of counterproductive so i would add <laughs> i would advise just to add sugar one time into the pot so bring all your sugar from the supermarket throw it in a pot mix it up add your white rum because you know you cannot sleep on this this is what makes sorrel sorrel i don't care what y'all say sorrel is sorrel with white rum this I'm not gonna add no more into this because it isn't lit. But sorrel is not sorrel without a little Jamaican white rum. white rum and your sorry and your pot of boiling water 
make some soil for Christmas if you have not please do not buy store-bought soil people make some homemade soil if you start now it will be ready in time for Christmas and you can stunt on your family members of how you made some nice Jamaican soil I will have the recipe in the description box below if you weren't listening to a thing I was saying in the intro please subscribe if you have not already comment if you have ever drank or tried homemade sorrel or if you're even going to try it put a comment in the comments below and remember to like this video share it because I know somebody would love to make some sorrel like me because mm. so guys stay tuned for your next video in vlogmas bye